Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's your resident Black Spider-Man. Yeah. Resident Black Spider-Man. I think my voice cracked a bit there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my word. I'm a little nervous, bro. It's been, it's been a long time. It's been a while. Guys, we're chilling here in the cribbo. H- the HQ. HQ, our dealer's HQ. Headquarters. You don't want to know where it is. Nah, don't worry about the location. Don't worry about the location. Don't worry about the location. It's your resident Black Spider-Man. Cut off from city, guys. Yeah. We are back. Finally. The dealers. The dealers. We here. Shout out to the dealers, the fan base. Mm-hmm. Who am I with? Shh. OG. Shh. Yo, big chocolate. You're one of the original members. Big sexy. Yo, come on now. Big beard boys. Yes, tell them how what it else? is. Tell them how it is. Tall, what dark, else? and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Hot chocolate. Mm. Yeah. The Don. What? The Don. The Don. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's the Don. <laughs> uh. Ladies and gentlemen, to me is back. Yeah, man. So we'll we'll get the team back soon, but you know we wanted to get some content back for the yeah, people because yeah, yeah. the people have been want- they've been asking for us, bro. Yeah, they're, they're, waiting asking. For, they're waiting for us to drop, bro. Absolutely, bro. So they're now, first of all, I just want to give a big thanks to everyone who's been contributing to the voicemail series. Fire! I know you guys have been loving that. I've been loving that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. But it's good to come back normally, get the vibes back. Yeah, man. I just want to, and this is a this is an interesting episode. You know, nothing really Chill planned. Vibes. Chill vibes. You know, we're just gonna talk. Taking it easy. Taking it easy. And uh, bro, how you doing? Man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Life is good. Mm. Um, the fam is good. Health-wise, we, we're doing all right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. We made it through the what the pandemic. The panini. The little bit of pepperoni. Yes, that's for we, the we, panorama. It's kind of crazy that we've been through like a year of this. Mm. Last year, this time. What was it? Like level... Level five, I think. Level five. Yeah. <laughs> it was booming. Dude. We just celebrated the birthday inside. Yeah. A glass of wine. That's about it. Yes. The little videos from the from the friends. Oh, yeah. It was your 21st last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was the 21st, ting. man. Had to organize that thing for the boy. Yeah, man. Um, and yeah, there's so much that, you know, everyone has gone through. Yeah. A lot of life lessons and yeah, man. Mm. How, do you, how, do you, how do you feel after season one <laughs> of the pandemic it feels, yeah it feels like it's it's, it's we sort of we still have like a long way to go yeah you know what the politicians they're just grabbing money like it's like it's nothing like it's a lottery or something yeah like, dude so um, yeah vaccine and all that how yeah do you feel? How do you feel? yeah man so obviously we're in south africa shout out to all my international listeners shout out. uh if you guys are in the states or wherever where vaccines seem to be rolling out a bit quicker uh we're very yeah, that, jealous that one, that one is crazy because I mean, people are back I've in ne- stadiums and stuff. Yeah I've, yeah, I've never felt so much formal than watching like the highlights of the next game. Dude, there was like sixteen thousand people. They were going crazy for um, what's his what's his name? Obi. Um, oh yeah, Obi Toppin. <laughs> yeah, Obi and yeah. Julius Randall, D Rose. Julius, they were going D Rose, Rose, man. Yeah. They were going crazy, and I don't know if you saw. On one side, there's a vaccin- vaccinated, vaccinated side. side the yeah. other side is... Non-vaccinated. And the vaccinated side... Was packed. Hey, man. It was I, might, packed, I might have to get the J&J. Dude, I was, uh, <laughs> I'm, I was, I've been saying, like, regardless of, like... And maybe we'll have another part about it, but, yeah. like, regard, regardless of, like, your general fe- feelings towards it, um, I understand, like, there's a bit of fear. I must say my personal opinion, as soon as that vaccine is available, I am taking it. I don't care. Um, maybe yeah. maybe I, have to, I should think about it more, but, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see at the time. But... Um, yeah, I was talking that's to. Formal. I don't no, know. Man. I, I don't that, that's eating me Chad, up. My friend Amy was telling me uh, she had a couple of friends who went back to the states now for a little bit. They're coming back soon, and they literally landed a couple of days ago, and they went to like a Walmart or something. Like you know, like it's, macro is like our yeah. equivalent. And niggas were just giving out vaccines there, like, hey, sign up for vaccine, and they just <laughs> twenty minutes later they're vaccinated. Like, what the? You see how asses? Also, you, like at the pharmacies, you know, you know, in a restaurant when they have like the soup of the day. Yeah. They have like the vaccine of the day. You know, you can get a Pfizer, you oh, can get J and J. Yeah, my cousin, he's staying in LA. He's vaccinated now. Got the Shout Pfizer. Yeah, he got the, the the two jab thing. You get me? Oh wow. Yeah, he he said the first one was a bit hectic. He it was man down for a bit. But the second one was chilled. But yeah, man. Crazy. Yes, we'll get, I yeah. suppose we'll get there. And I think for me, man. Yeah, I think similar. Um, yeah, last year was a bit interesting. Like, yeah, I think globally speaking, it was obviously a bad year. But personally. I don't think it was terrible. Yeah, that being good. that being said, like I did go through a lot emotionally. I think the the the, the, the what's it called the quarantine yeah. affected me more than I thought it did. I thought I was fine, and um, I'm pretty introverted. Like I love being alone in general. So that first like 
21 that turned into like 48 days or whatever. <laughs> Um, that was great for me. I genuinely that, that one didn't make that. This by the way, that one didn't make any sense. Like, yeah, in twenty one days you'll be good. Yeah, hmm? I get. I and I get. It was like okay. The, the but I guess the it, was life, new, it was a new thing. We was a new know. thing. We didn't understand. Yeah. I get like the lifespan. You you're sick for like two weeks type of thing. Yeah. And like okay, let's just make sure everyone's fine. And that turned into like three for a year now, basically of lockdown. Yeah. Um, but yeah, can, even coming out of it, I do realize how much I missed people, miss seeing you guys. Yeah. Um, miss like the church community all that kind of stuff I mean you I think we took a lot of things for granted as a society <laughs> and uh, it's like when you when you get a cold and you 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 miss the time when your throat wasn't sore exactly you know, yeah you're, it's I'm like sure, I'm sure you that for granted and I'm sure like people with COVID I'm sure you miss tasting things you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> but uh, I didn't even mean that to be dirty damn so my apologies alright no nah, I'm not saying that I'm saying you're giving a jab at the, at the COVID at my COVID keeps. people but you must be careful that's all I'm saying yeah, yeah. but I will say this um, quick, like I don't think I've asked you, do you think you've had COVID or did you have I COVID I think like um, did you ever have like any some, like there's never been a time where I lost my taste or my sense of whatever smell um, there was a time maybe in like level 5 where like oh, yeah. you know when your throat is a bit scratchy like oh damn I have COVID <laughs> I thought that was the case but no I personally don't think I've had the symptoms. Maybe I've had it and been asymptomatic, which is very likely. But I don't think I've, I've n- I haven't had any of the hectic symptoms. I remember. I remember at the beginning of the year. It was way before the pandemic. Mm. My sister, she got sick. Yeah. She got horrifically sick, and um, she went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, "Yo, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what this." Is. And then my dad got sick. I think we all got sick. Forbid. Like, it was January. It was like yeah. with those those little rubblings of it. But I don't because she said that someone at, at a school they went away, they mm-hmm. came back, and then it was an incident when she coughed on on her. It's like yeah, this girl coughed on me. Yeah, yeah. Then she got sick, sick, and then doctor, we all got sick, and then we fixed it up. So I don't know if that I don't know what that was. I mean, if they went away, the doctor was saying the doctor was saying, hey, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they went away, that could have been. I mean, that could have been something. I mean, because when when did like the first case come here? Like February, or the first like reported case? I'm it sure. was like March. I remember that week. It was just it was a hectic the, week. The COVID ten, I think they were called like from Italy or something. Like yeah, Italy 10 yeah, it was a COVID ten. But then the the thing that like hit it off was um, vets. Remember oh, those yeah, incidents? That, that girl they got it. Yeah, I don't know the, it was the, the medical side. Yeah, 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 yeah like, I remember yeah. that. Um, the no school said she has COVID. Three hundred people have to quarantine. Huh? <laughs> then everyone was stressed out. I was like, "Yo, that was a weird time, bro." Like I, I, I remember, remember that week vividly. I, I remember that whole period where, even like rumors of a lockdown. I was like, "What does that even look like for South Africa? Like, how do we go into lockdown?" A lot of countries weren't yet in lockdown. America obviously has been. In also, the, also rumblings that yeah, no black people can't get it. I remember that it was just like no, this is just a, 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 a middle class disease. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, yeah. it's a Caucasian thing. It's a Caucasian thing. It's a Caucasian thing. It's weird, bro. Like we've we've actually gone through like not really understanding a lot of this. Yeah, virus we're just freestyling to, it. To, the whole world is literally freestyling. Yeah, to like I'm not saying we understand it now. I'm I'm, I'm not a scientist. I don't understand. But like yeah. maybe we are learning to just deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have a feeling like I don't think it will ever go away. Like we'll eradicate it. It will be be like the SARS virus or like flu for swine flu it'll just be a part of our lives yeah you I think that's what's happening now it's just you get a vaccine for it you move on if you yeah. still get it you get it but you'll be better equipped to like handle it obviously it's about adapt humans are, are pretty good at adapting yeah I think there'll still be like like a large amount of like cases yeah. like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be like surprised about that but yeah I think we'll see we'll, I guess we'll see how it goes you know yeah I think for me, last year was also a really, um, I don't know, it was, it was a different experience, just not having a social life. Mm. Um, I think because obviously you're just a little bit paranoid of giving it to the family and yeah, it was, it was just a little bit of a, it was a very different experience. Yeah. Um, obviously it, take, it takes a lot, it takes a mental toll when you're okay. in the house 24-7. Absolutely. When you... I don't know, you just, everything, this is like this extreme routine. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you do some university work. A lot of university students, it's basically like you NISA. Yeah. You you know, they just, they tell you, okay, this is what you're going to do and you do it and you hope for the best. Um, 
So that was also a different experience. But yeah, the main thing was just like that social life. Because for me, I'm personally like, a, I like I like going out. I like seeing friends and yeah. going to places. I mean, I felt like I had a good balance with that in university. I think that's why things went a bit wild with the degree, you know, because mm-hmm. there's a time for working in the weekend. Yeah. You see your friend groups and all of that. So, yeah, it was just a... Uh, it was a different experience. Um, obviously now, you know, the boy moved out, so it's you, you can you can get that social life back a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, the one upside of the whole pandemic is just seeing how loved ones and people have grown. Because mm. everyone has... I haven't met someone or bumped into someone that is not like a completely different person. Yeah. Um, or not completely, you know, just like grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like exponentially. That's um, that's a nice thing to see. Yeah, I think that's there's there's a lot of. I think one of the biggest benefits that the lockdown had was it it brought a lot of reflection. Yeah, gave yeah, us a lot of time. Had, yeah, yeah. You were at home. You yeah. had to. You had to introspect. You had a lot of, you had to, yeah, a lot of time to think about your life. A lot of time yeah, to think about. Yeah. You know, dreams, maybe goals. I think a lot of people maybe had dreams that they had that that had died, or, which are now coming back to yeah. life. Like, because now you have time to really think about it. And I think, you know, I don't want to speak for everyone, but for me personally, I think there was more benefits than there were cons, like more pros than cons, coming out of this whole like lockdown thing. Mm. I mean, the major con is just the world, like the way it is now, and all that, all that kind of stuff. It's a bit scary, but yeah. like the pros wise, like my friendships are stronger than ever because like yeah i had to you had to like really force yourself to check in on people like yeah hey, yeah you're doing all that kind of stuff and i think my circle got significantly smaller i'd say not significantly but it got smaller um which i think is a great thing um i'm not someone who uh keeps a lot of friends <laughs> yeah. and um i'm not someone who like just calls everyone my friend that's not the case like i have i have my friends and then i have people that i know you know what i mean so i think i think to a lot of people i might be their friend but i'm not they're not my friend i know that sounds <laughs> bad. i know that sounds rude making it sound like i'm some exclusive guy but the thing is like uh i think what lockdown did is that it really highlighted the people who actually care about you yeah like people who checked in on me like um who i checked on checked in on like people who i missed I didn't miss everyone. I missed like a very small amount of people. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, shout out to my people, man. You know who you are. Like, I don't want to like, yeah, start yeah. naming niggas, but like <laughs> you, you know who you are. And um, yeah, I think that that was like one of the biggest benefits for me personally. Like, and, yeah. um, even now, and even so, like, I think I've had to face adversity to realize that. Yeah. So like, even prior to that, like, I remember, what was it three years ago, going through some stuff, some relationship drama. And then, like, I had people who I thought were my friends, just, like, friends, like, turn on me. Um, and I was just, like... And then others who, like, were there for me type of thing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, like, even that was just, like, super highlight. The, the, that highlighted quite a lot. Um, so, for me, I think I've... I grow more in adversity as much as it sucks. Yeah. Like, you, you know, I think COVID as well um, was tough for my family. You know, I think to be, like one of the main sources of income or like the most consistent source of income um, as far as the salary every yeah. month. You know, that's, that, took, that took a toll on me. I think I, 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 I picked up a bit of trauma from, trauma from that. So mm. like, I'm still trying to kind of get over that like, cause it was, it was a huge stress. I think that was probably like the worst thing I went through as far yeah. as like being stressed out for my family all the time. My anxiety, depression went through mm. the roof, but it was like, it wasn't to the point where I was like sad all the time or like anxious all the time. It was just like this weight I was carrying and like yeah. feeling like I had to work harder, work longer. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't earning a lot, but I was on pay cuts. So like I'd be working three times as hard for like half the money, you know what I mean? So yeah. like it was, that was like, that was a bit of a strain as well. So glad to be out of that, glad to be out of that company. So mm-hmm. like really glad, <laughs> don't, don't miss it at all. Yeah. Um, miss the people, but like don't miss the company. Um, and yeah, like shout out to my, my parents as well, who also made it through. Um, but yeah, how's uh, speaking on that going into 2021? Now we're in the end of May, almost basically. Yeah, it was basically half, um, the half the year, basically. Year. Yeah. And uh, so, how do you think? How's it? What have you learned? What did 2020 teach you? What have you learned? And then, halfway lesson so far. Yeah, with 2020, I think I just, um, I don't know, just being a little bit more gentle with 
myself and also the people around you, you know. Mm. Because, you know, everyone is experiencing the pandemic. It's not, you know, I'm not the center of the world and I'm not the only one that's experiencing this thing. So, you know, just being careful with, trying your best to be careful with what you say to people. Obviously, I'm not like a perfect person. Um, but yeah, just like being careful what you say, how 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 you do things. Because um, yeah, obviously, you know, there's ups and downs, even in, mm. in, the, in the house, you... Excuse me. You're around each other like 24-7. Yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, you, you might like butt heads and all that. But yeah, after all of that, you just learn from those situations. Um, and also, yeah, just like thinking, just checking up on friends, um, thinking about friends, because maybe sometimes friends do not want to, people don't want to like speak. So you also respect that because everyone is going through their own experience right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also just just being gentle with myself, you know, just not putting too much strain on myself. I think last year, that's one thing that I, I think I did pretty well. Mm. Like, if things got overwhelming, I took a step back yeah. in like a, a constructive way, not just like, I'm not going to do this work. Mm. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to... I did it in such a way that I'll take a step back and I'll work, I'll work on it at a time when I'm in the right headspace. Um... So yeah, that was just that was just a pretty important thing, um, and yeah, also just finding finding the little things mm. to be happy about, you know, just yeah. small things that happen during the day. Because you know, during the pandemic, a day feels like a week, a week mm. feels like a month. That's why, as a side note, music right now you listen to it a, a day and you forget about it. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's a hectic time to be a musician, but yeah, you know, just finding small things, you know. Get a mug, like a mug and bean muffin, feel good. You appreciate that moment of eating that mug and bean muffin. <laughs> yeah, it's small things. Yeah, yeah, it's like small things. Yeah. Um, 2021, I think it was. It has been a little bit more um, stressful than 2020, just with, you know, family stuff, uh, losing loved ones, um, and a lot of transition phases, you know, just moving out. It's a lot of... A lot of change. A lot of change, yeah. Um, and I think I, I deal well with change, but just it's a lot of it's a lot of change. A lot All of at things. the same time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. both of us lost our grandmothers like, yeah, quite close to each other. Yeah, like yeah, and it's like a couple of weeks. Yeah. So it was just that experience also heightened um, that feeling of you know the only the only thing that's really important right now is, is your loved ones mm. and loving people and experiencing love. You know, just not trying your best not to get caught up in the day-to-day -day things, you know, because, you know, understand these things are important, you know, university is important, jobs, this and that, but, yeah, you know, just l losing losing a loved one and, it, and seeing how, like, how that functioned, that whole, like, situation was just, you, you, you think about things very differently. Yeah. Um, your perspective changes for sure. Yeah, yeah. But obviously in the moment, you're still like, this is hectic. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah life, sure. life is... So I think for like a month or two after that, I was still in like a a very de depressive head state. Head, yeah, head state. Um, so yeah, I think I just needed to slow down, um, just reassess things. And, you know, just, yeah, just calm down. Just go back to that calm state of mind mm. that I thought I had last year. Um... So yeah, now I'm now I'm in a pretty um, good headspace. Um, just I think the lesson in that will come. Just the thing of change, mm. how to deal with transitions and change and all of that. Um, but yeah, just looking at the blessings in your life. Yeah, willing to move out. The family's still doing all right. Um, friends and yeah, friends are friends are doing pretty good. Mm. Um, health wise yeah so yeah just like going back to focusing on the good the good parts of life because yeah. there's still a lot of good yeah, the fact that we made it this here because you know a lot of a lot of we are surrounded by a lot of death and mm. depression and anxiety and all that so I mean we're here and yeah you know shout out to God yes that's, yeah. that's for sure the most high the most high yeah. um yeah, things could be a lot worse. And yeah, it's a blessing. Life, life, life is still a blessing. Yeah, Even though there's some challenges. Yeah. 
so store a blessing. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I think similar to uh, similar for me. Like, just this year has been. To be honest, it's it, to be honest, it's been a bit more tough than I found 2020. Mm-hmm. Just because, same thing with you. Like, just a lot of change and a lot of stuff happening all at once. Like, as mentioned, like we both lost grandparents. Yeah. Like within weeks of each other, and yeah, that's been. I think it's been more tough for my family than it has been for me personally. Like it's it's been tough, but it's I think I'm, you know, having a bit more of an understanding of like afterlife and yeah, um, salvation and all that kind of stuff. So like my grandmother was, uh, she believed in Jesus. So like I'm not sad about where she is now. I miss her because I mean she's like not here anymore. Uh, but my mom, it was very close to her. It was my mom's mom, and I think she is like. She, she's going through like the motions still, and it's still fresh. I mean, it was like what February or March. Yeah, right? like it's, it's not. Just, that's we yeah. think that's a long time. That's like literally two months ago. That's not a long time at all. Mm. And um, so yeah, that's been tough. Obviously, moving jobs uh, has been interesting. Um, yeah, like even that transition. Like we were, our department got terminated, so like we were all retrenched. Never, yeah. never in my life thought I'd be retrenched ever. So it was a weird process. Mm. Um, interesting it was quick but it was just very strange obviously got paid out for a few months so like i wasn't stressing about cash or whatever but it was just like a weird like thing it's like you're being fired but like not because you're doing badly yeah but because like the company is doing badly and they can't afford you anymore but it does still feel like you messed up a little bit you know mm. what i mean um don't, don't get me wrong like i said i don't miss that place i'm happy to be gone <laughs> but it's like I, it would have been nicer in a sense if i left on my own terms yeah um like I left because I was ready to move on and there was a better opportunity. Whereas now it's like, okay, listen, we can't afford you. We have to let you go. Here's some cash for the next few months. But then now I have to start looking for jobs again and all that kind of stuff. So that was, that was a bit of a pain. So, but you know, blessings came through and got jobs with uh, dad and cousin and all that and doing some freelance work yeah. and all that. So like, it's fine. that's cool. And all, you know, it's the same old work, you know, kind of corporate design and whatever. So it's not anything that I see myself doing forever, mm. but I, I'm grateful for the fact that it came through, and I don't have to stress too much about cash or whatever, and I can yeah. still afford cool things. Like, um, but I must say I was quite overwhelmed like recently, and like having to um, balance like I had to do like a bunch of freelance because uh, because I'm still new in freelancing because mm-hmm. I haven't done it for long. Uh, I don't charge like I at least I used don't I didn't used to like charge a lot. So I'd have to do a lot of jobs just to make a certain amount of money back, you know what I mean? Whereas now I can like charge like a couple of grand for like a job or whatever. Um, so I was quite overwhelmed. So I went to Cape Town now just to... That Take was, a little breather, you know what I'm I needed a break, bro. Uh, get I did a, the cup. Yeah, shout man. out to Cape Town. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Cape Town. Everyone I met down there. Everyone who's amazing. Shout out to Amy. Shout you know, out. She's, she's great. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out. Shout out to... Stacy and Jethro Shout and out Gracie, the gang. You know, the gang, bro. Shout out to Cape. Shout out to the West Cape, side. bro. West side. Shout out to Nomi, my cousin. She's down there, my twin. You know, I love you. Um, Shout out. Yeah, dude, it was great. It was, it was a short trip, but it was just, I needed, dude, I, I literally landed and I just I felt, like the video you posted. It looked like a... A little after movie type of thing. Yeah, you know, no, like, you, like you got paid to go to Cape Town. Bro, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, you see the city of Cape Town paid the boy? Um, yeah, I'm just trying my my hand at like video editing yeah, and all that. So yeah, that was cool. A great job. Thanks, bro. Yeah, great um, job. Uh, so yeah, that was cool. I, no, I really did have a great time. It was amazing. I'm gonna head back town soon. Uh, see the yeah, peeps. I wanna I wanna go to Cape Town. People yeah, say sure. it's, it's it's my type of vibe. Like that's the, what they said to me also, and I was like, I know, dude, I love Joburg too much. I got there, I see it, bro. Like yeah. it's shout out to yours truly. The, the, the people always speak about yours truly. Mm. They speak about this is a side note. They speak about the wine there. They say it's, yeah, it's, it's sensational. It's, it's the most the, the most dangerous wine on the planet. <laughs> I beg to differ. I'm a, I'm a heavyweight, so I have to try that out. But anyway, shout out to yours truly. Shout out to yours truly, and uh, yeah, man. Shout out, to, shout out to Kevin, bro. Shout out to everyone there. Interestingly enough, like everyone that I was chilling with there is not originally from Cape Town. They're either like from KZN or Joburg. Yeah. So except for like the the Tates and everything like that, they were they are obviously Cape Townians by by birth. Cause I mean, you know, Cape, people from Cape Town have a bit of a bad reputation. You get me, like. Yeah, though that's my that's my old, that's my only thing about Cape Town. Um, I think a certain demographic over there thinks it's mm. not Africa. <laughs> dude, I got. The, dude, I was on it's the Africa, plane. Yeah, bro. Dude, I got there. It was so weird. First of all, I'm on like the earliest flight possible. It's like 6 a.m. Or like uh, 7 a.m. Most likely. I got there at like 
or I bought it at six, should I say. And um, I swear I was probably like, at least from what I saw, I was like way at the front of the plane. I was like one of maybe three black people in Damn. the in the in like the front section of the plane. And then when I landed, I saw there was the gang black people at least. Shout but, out. <laughs> but then it, it's so weird. Like you do kind of feel like a bit of a minority in your own country. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about it yesterday. I can't imagine living in a country where... Just, you, you're not the majority. Just got cases. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and it's whenever whenever I've traveled overseas, whenever I've traveled overseas, it does kind of like you don't think it affects you because you're, you're there for holiday, but it, it it messes with your brain. But like oh, I was it's in, like I'm in war. It's twenty four seven. I can't be myself, bro. I'm just like I'm yeah. just trying to. But like Cape Town was interesting because like it's it was predominantly POCs, by people of color. Shout out. So I didn't feel like a minority in that sense. But I was definitely a minority because I didn't see a lot of black people. Yeah, there was, it was like mostly colored people, and then Caucasian people, and then and then the the, the odd black people. You know what I'm saying? So it was cool though. Like I mean, yeah, shots kept on. Shots kept. I would. It's, it's I, a beautiful I, place. I, I want to live there for a bit. You know. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Um, you know, maybe we'll see. Maybe next year, the year after, see if we can make that happen. And then just for a short stint, you get me. And you know, you know, you know, we miss people down there as well. You know, we we will, we, we we miss those down there. So it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's all good, and um, but yeah, bro. I think uh, this is a good catch-up. This is a nice little, it's a nice little, ch- nice little, little chat, little, bro. nice little, nice little chit-chat. So yeah, you know, I want to say this feel like a, this year has been a, a bit of a transition phase. Yeah. I think that's like the main feeling that I'm getting from this year. Um, and transition phases are very difficult. That's what I said. It's a lot of uncertainty. 21 is a transition year, I think, as well. I said that. So, yeah, I think, you know, just people must be a little bit easy on themselves. Mm. Um, The fact that we made it this far, it's it's, it's, it's in the year, just this year. Yeah. It's a a blessing because there's a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs. Mm. There's no, there hasn't been that much of stability and certainty it's not much to celebrate well i had not take that there's things to celebrate it's just yeah. um just talking about the difficulty of oh, yeah transition phases you know so i think people just you know be a little bit more gentle on themselves and yeah. celebrate celebrate the wins whether it's a small win um a big one you know it's like a yeah just celebrate yeah the small things right like small things that like, you that you are achieving in life and yeah um Yes, take it easy on yourself, eh? Easy. That's it, bro. Take it easy on yourself. You must treat just treat yourself like your um, how you treat your best friend, you know? Because mm. it's a difficult life. Is life is you know life is a little bit difficult. That's tough, bro. It's, yeah. it's and people are going through stuff that you can't even imagine, yeah. or you don't even know what they're going through. So yeah. treat treat yourself good, and also treat other people good as well. Because yeah. people are going through some stuff. Um, and yeah, just celebrate, celebrate the small wins. You That's have to do bro. that. That's it. Bro. Every win, every 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 little W, you take that and you're like, hey man, That's I it. did that. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So is that your final word for the? That's people? my final word, man. That's a good one. That's my final word. Perfect amount of time, bro. Twenty-eight minutes, thirty minutes. Sheesh, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were mm-hmm. This is our first one since what? Twenty-nine. Twenty. Since like. 20, Yo, like it's 2019. It's 2019, yeah. It might be a little rest for you. We still yeah. got it. I think uh, we, I've obviously done some of the jobs. I've done yeah, yeah. the Zoom ones. I've done stuff. But like you and me, it's been a while. Eh? It's been a minute, man. Yeah. It feels good. It feels great, man. It feels great. It's coming to get the boys back, but it's nice yeah, yeah, to see we need, you, man. We need, we need, um, sheesh. Let's talk, hold on. Before we, before we end off, we mm. have to speak about Scholar Winter. Oh. We've got to speak about shout that. Out to, shout out to boy P. Young Panache. P. OG um, Odd Dealer. OG, 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 OG. been here since the beginning. And I'll say, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'm gonna link his. I'm gonna link his uh, his project down in the yeah, bottom description. I'll, I'll say this with all confidence. Um, his EP amongst amongst all the homies, it's, it's the best body of work. Hundred percent, yeah. Um, it was in my. I had. I, I did like a low key album of the year last year. It was honorable mention. What and is I that? Put, what is that one song? Green Tea, I think. It oh. is. that's a fire track, eh? That's a good that guy one. Went crazy. Nah, I'm gonna link Who's everything. That guy? I'm gonna he link uh, if you if you're listening on YouTube, it's in the description. If you're podcast listening, it's in the uh, the podcast notes. Our boy P Panache. I need a I need a I need a Aru Jacobs and Scholar Ooh, to track. Ooh, collaboration, like yeah, a man. Little James Blake, Travis Scott. Yeah, vibe. Aru, Aru is out here as well, man. We're gonna link him as well. He's Sheesh. been uh, he's been releasing them. Start to uh, July 56 as well. Yeah, they, yeah, those yeah. two are going crazy. 
they just released some uh, a new autumn winter ish. dusty duty ish. some autumn winter hoodies and beanies and ish like that so they they're coming back bro crazy look at our look at our people bro shining you know what I'm saying shining, shining bro. bro shining love it love it we love shining. to see you guys winning we love to see you guys winning shout out to p he's uh he's in south africa at the moment but he's heading back to zambia yeah big medicine yep uh, you know, medicine ting. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Fourth or fifth year? It's a jack of all trades, bro. Dude, music, music, music and medicine. Ish. He's getting the beard. He's gonna be. He's gonna be doing surgery and then winning a Grammy the same night. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Sorry, guys. I just came from surgery. Yeah. I'd like to thank God for this award. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys. My final word, man. Just it's good to be back. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, you know. If you're going through some stuff, it's good to have good people around you, man. You know. Know who your team is. If it's family, if it's friends. You know. Like just. Uh, appreciate those around you and and you know let let you know you know cut those people who don't appreciate you man that's yeah, man. Some, not trying to be rude we but it is what do it that is bit. it is what it is man don't so we're in a pandemic the yeah it's a ending. pandemic we're don't, don't, don't waste your time guys i don't have time mm-hmm. to waste time that's yeah, that's what it is bro what do you say i don't have time to waste time say it one more time i don't have time to waste time that's a that's a big bar right there i don't have time to waste time but yeah guys yeah. it's your resin black spider man uh-huh. we'll big be back. chocolate big chocolate to me we'll be back soon Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Shout out. Peace out.